reduce this microphone. By putting it here. Hey, okay. What of restrictions? How many hours do you work in that day? Two? two? Okay, anyone who works two hours a day? Just two hours, two hours and below a day. Anyone who works five hours and below a day? Anyone who works any time they want? <laughs> any time you want. So, this is going to be about the people who work any time they want. No office, no problem. What else? All profits alone? <laughs> Sorry? You share profits. You share profits. Anyone who enjoys profits here alone? Okay. Doreen, you have a nine to five, then you enjoy profits alone. What do you do? Come and tell us. She has a nine to five, but again, all profits are hard. Anyone? All profits are yours. I want to hear your story. What do you call out here? Come on. Freelancers? People who work two hours and below? Charlotte, you want to share? I want to hear. How do you get all the profits alone? How do you handle your business? Do you have employees? Do you work alone? Do you get people on board? I do all those roles as one person. Right or wrong? There is a problem here. If you have a very good coordination, like Doreen says, if you have a very good coordination of your team, but it can even be worse if you have Yes. Did not do the right things in the first place, like uh, the, con the paperwork, finding out when the client will pay, when they will post the first uh, installment, having the phobia of like working on many projects. Like for me, I think technology is about creativity, and I think with the technology, you are not going to build a thousand products in a month. You are going to work on one which can pay some good amount which you can divide among these different individuals. Then another thing, the discipline of the individuals you hire. So if you don't know much about them and uh, you just heard that someone is a front-end developer, a back-end developer, but you don't even know how many projects they are working on right now, but you hire them because you heard they are good, they may not produce, but they want the money so they will tell you, yeah, work. If I, what kind of people can I have? on the team. First of all, you can have a face-to-face -face conversation with them to understand, are these people, do they have some business ethics in them? Follow their conversations on social media. There are people I cannot work with just because of what they talk about on their social media platforms. Honestly. When I follow through and I'm like, okay, I bring this guy on board my clients are going to have a battle with you. So before, because if I interact with you and you get some information from you, which might be very good, but if I follow your social media conversations, it may also give me another perspective about you. So as we post things on social media, that is, uh, by the way, be careful of the things that you post because they can either give you gigs or they can take gigs away from you, right? Yes. So the other thing about building building a successful team is you need a culture. As any person, if you are the one contracting the job, you need a culture. And this culture can be meetings regularly. You may not have to meet on a daily face-to-face, -face, but you may have to, to do maybe a face-to-face -face video call, you have, a, you have Skype, you have Viber, yes, you have your Google Hangouts. 
See, you have to make sure that you lead. I love team meetings very much, but I do not support team meetings all the time. Why? Because someone cannot express themselves to that point that you want to get out of them. So what you have to do is ensure you see a person face to face. And that is, I think that is why we have people who do psychology. You can know when someone is lying, you can know when someone is emotional, you can know when someone, the project is going to be very hard for someone, but all that can hide behind an email. And you may never know if someone will be able to handle the project or not. I talked about interviews already. Then communication. I talked about it, have a face-to-face -face conversation because I've talked about all these things. Then regular calls. People here in Uganda no longer call people. I can have my phone on for seven days and it never rings. But it always has WhatsApp conversations. Trust me, WhatsApp conversations, there is no difference with emails because Theories create that, that atmosphere of some, something is going well. And you know when you talk to someone, you can call, has your boss ever called you when you're stressed and you're like, ah, and then he's like, what did you just say? You're fired. But because of how you expressed yourself, it was really high. So you need, you need those phone calls to know how someone is doing or the project, to know if the project is doing well or not. Then, determine how you want to work with a person. Do you need an individual in the same time zone? I know some of you are working for people who are out of the country. Then someone will call you at 2 a.m. when you are sleeping and he's awake. And he's like, I'm trying to call this line, but it is not working. And he's like, but dude, I'm sleeping. But that is his working time. So you need to understand which time zone you're going to have your team best. In, and you want them in East African time, do you want them in the UK time, what time zone do you want them? Because it makes no sense you hiring people who you will not smoothly work with. Then also the challenge I get with freelancers is payment. I think all of you have this challenge. I'm just out of this place. Okay, let me finish this. Payment. How do we handle payments? When, before you start on any project, please have at least an agreement between you and the people you're going to work with or between you and the client. I know clients usually have agreements verbally, but always ensure that you have a written down agreement. I know in Uganda we don't exercise the law as much, but in other countries they do. So, since we are going to take and we are developing, please let's get to these levels of, before you start a project, yeah. right, agree on certain things. Agree that I'm going to pay the graphics designer needs this amount. Agree. Agree that the project is going to bring in this amount. Everyone in the team is going to get this ratio. Then at the end of it all, see how you, you have performed. If the client hasn't paid, go back to the table and say, you guys, we received this amount, I paid everyone this amount, but the client has not paid. Instead of people parting ways without knowing what exactly happened, they, did they cheat us or something like that. I hope I have made a little bit of space here. And... My time is up.